Yo, what up? It's Sea Lance. You're tuning into Breaking Records Radio, my favorite radio for underground hip hop. And I show you support. Peace. Yeah, it's a really cool story, huh? I'll have to write a book one day and put that in there. <laughs> no, for real, for real. And actually, yeah. with you bringing up Dope Nixon too, um, there's there, there's something I want to add. This is jumping forward a bit, kind of to present times. Um, and we'll go back again. But I'm just curious, like, with being a producer. I find that sometimes producers get put in, um, you know, weird positions. Like, you know, with Jay-Z and Nas, like with Kanye producing TakeOver, right? Like, I remember Kanye saying in interviews after the fact, he's like, yo, Nas was my favorite rapper. Like, I, he was my favorite yeah. over Jay-Z. And Jay-Z dissed him on my beat. And now it's like, am I ever going to work with Nas? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and, yeah. um, and that's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Because, I mean, there's been some beefs that have ha transpired in time since, but in, you've had good working relationships with people on both sides. Like yeah, you mentioned Dope Nixon and then him and Paz have had a fallout. Um, you know, I don't know if you ever worked with King Magnetic, but you know, same type of thing, AOTP. Like, and then um, to go forward too, like with the Mad Child thing, you, you, you've created hit records with Mad Child and then you've created so many hit records with um, Stomp Down Killer Associated Artists. Um, like, does that put you in a weird position when, when these you know these parties end up rivaling with each other and you have good relationships on both sides like do you ever feel like kind of stuck in the middle like you're forced to pick a side um when it comes with the when it comes to the past stuff no because it's always it's always just i'm on past the side like yeah yeah you know what i mean like i would i've i've never really i've never really been friends with anyone in aotp so you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm friendly with them. You know, like if we, like if I see him at a show, it's, you know, it's all love, but yeah. like, I mean, me and Paz talk every single day. Like, you know, he's one of like my closest friends. So yeah. when for that situation, nah, it didn't really get weird for me. Cause it's always just been, I'm just, I'm just cool with Paz. But, um, the, the mad child and snack thing, like it got a little weird, but like 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 not to the point where i had to you know like not to the point where it made me uncomfortable like i kind of i kind of stayed out of that situation like it was between them yeah so i never really got involved and uh there was actually a there was actually a time where i wasn't really doing much stuff with Mad child that i was i was constantly working with snack so that kind of made the situation a little bit easier too but also, also when Snack released those disc records, all three of them were on my beats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that kind of, but I've never had any sort of, I've never had any sort of like aggressive conversations with Mad Child. Like it's always kind of been, it's always been cool. Like I've never, I think he's also kind of like a misunderstood guy. Like I feel like, I, I feel like a lot of people don't like him, but they don't really know him. Yeah. So I, I've never really had issues with him, man. Like, you know, like I, I'm, I mean, he's cool to me. Like I've never, never had, I like, I also pride myself on like, I feel like I personally don't have issues with like anybody. Like I just don't, I just like, I'm pretty like laid back. I don't, I don't ever get in like heated arguments with anybody. I mean, I pretty much just get along with anybody. And like, I also keep my circle kind of small. So it's like, I talk to Paz every day, you know, like I talk to Mark, you know, I talk to Snack and then that's pretty much it. I don't really deal with any, I don't really deal with that many people. Like, like you think I produce for a lot of people, but uh, like a lot of the stuff is just that I'll send him a beat. And then like, I don't really talk to them after that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So I try to, you know, I try to just stay out of all that stuff, especially with social media. Now I feel like everybody's always beefing, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, you know, like this guy hasn't liked my photos in a month. What? Well, like, he doesn't like me anymore. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I feel like it's, it's just, I try to just stay out of it, man. I wake up, work on my stuff. I send the beats out and then, you know, like that's mind, it. And just mind your business. Yeah. 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 Like La Coconos for mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> hey, primo. Primo. Actually, my boy, uh, my boy Tom shot that video for them. Real Wolf. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's a, man, that was a good record when it came out. Oh man. That shit's hard. That shit's hard, man. Oh. Oh. Look at you now. I got the mind. 
touch Everything I hold a touch can bust the gold dust You see me as a threat, but you don't need to sweat Cause your girl know I keep her wetter than a Chia pet See you on the ground, you're on the ground, you're on the ground Doesn't stay getting drunk every day Waiting till it goes the fuck away Then I wake up to another day Just to face reality again Cause the buzz of pain doesn't change a fucking thing Nothing comes next, I wonder what's next I used to be atheist But now I just say fuck it, I'm blessed Fuck it, I'm blessed They say it's easier said than done So I'm working till I get it done uh.